All right, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Show Me the Truth. And you know what? I just wanted to give respect to this young man right here. He's the mayor of New York City. Uh, New York City's reinstated neighborhood safety teams already making a difference. And as you can see, he is uh, resurrecting. Uh, Eric Adams is his name. He's resurrecting the neighborhood safety teams. And so what he's uh, doing is, is actually all about the precision policing. And there's a clear message uh, that he is sending to the community. And that's Let's do policing right. Let's not violate the liberties of the people. But let's go after the guns and those who are the trigger pullers. And so he's a very precision, uh, a precision type of mayor where he is attempting to extract the baby from the bathwater, so to speak, meaning let's go ahead and do policing right let's not do blanket pullovers right let's not do the um, extreme but let's let's get some balance uh, to this arresting and bringing in uh, the, the criminals uh, those that that want to stir up trouble uh, unnecessarily all right and so we can see that the effort was suspended in June of 2020 uh, and you know, of course when that effort was suspended when they tried to do something uh, like this in the past uh, a neighborhood safety team in the past uh, they suspended it and guess what 284 people got shot all right and so <laughs> because uh, Eric Adams cares uh, about the city he's gonna go ahead and continue with this because he's seen success with it and this initial success is being viewed by many as just the first step. Part of his plan is not only to reinvigorate uh, these safety teams, but to work to appoint judges with a demonstrated commitment to keeping violent criminals who use guns off New York City streets. And so uh, we definitely want uh, this guy to succeed. Uh, we want him to continue to, to uphold the Constitution as he swore an oath to. And I wanted to point out this uh, sentence right here and comment on it. It says, it remains to be seen if the initial quote-unquote success can be maintained. Tiffany Caban, a Democrat on the city council, said much of the mayor's plan is cause for deep concern, uh, that it's built on a foundation of surveillance and punishment, which are ineffective and dangerous. And so uh, this is coming from Tiffany Caban. So I'm glad that it did not come from uh, the New American itself. I know the New American is very good at just reporting the news and reporting it the way it is. And so, uh, yeah, but Tiffany Caban, who is the Democrat on the city council, uh, did say uh, that the mayor's plan is cause for deep concern. Well, this is the thing. If it is working to bring in the criminals, you know what? It's, it's not going to be perfect, but we do need to go ahead with a plan that is well thought out, that is well planned so that we can uh, continue to be fruitful in society and not have society overrun uh, by um, a group of Mad Maxes or a group of people who uh, could care less about the law. So kudos to uh, Mr. Eric Adams. I really appreciate him and what he's done for the city in this respect. And we are looking forward to even more <laughs> good news from him, from the city. And I just wanted to report and give honor. Give honor to whom honor is due. All right. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. God bless and you take care.